Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with BD Tinker. Today we are going to configure Mold Indicator Sensor. We'll start in 10 seconds. Today we are going to configure Mold Indicator Sensor. What Mold Indicator is, it's a sensor that enables you to track possibility of mold developing on your walls inside your rooms. It's not a magic component. What it really does, it tracks outside temperature, inside temperature, humidity in the room, and also how it's called critical temperature. It also uses something called calibration factor that you get by combining temperature indoors, outdoors, and critical point. Critical point is the lowest temperature inside your room. So, for example, if you have outside wall in a room that is not heated that much, you would need to find the coldest spot in the room, measure the temperature there, and then use formula, which I will be uh, leaving down in the description of the video, to calibrate your sensor. Okay, let's configure it. Let's open up once again our configurator. If you are not, go to your sensor.yaml file. Let's go to the bottom of that file and let's make a comment called mold indicator. Creating the sensor is pretty simple. For platform, we have to type in mold indicator. And then you have to specify a couple of variables. First thing, I always do is name it. Why? Because you can have mold indicator for a couple of rooms. You cannot have it for your whole living area. It has to be tracked by room because there are differences between the rooms in terms of temperature and humidity. So let's call this Zeta Room Mold Indicator. A little bit long, but at least I will know what's that all about. Next thing what we have to define is we have to define indoor temperature sensor. And for this you have to use your temperature sensor that's inside that room. And this will be in, in this case sensor. Zeta. Zeta room temperature. Next thing that you have to define is the indoor humidity sensor. And in my case, this will be sensor Zeta room humidity. Third sensor we have to add is outdoor temperature sensor. And this will usually be your weather sensor that you are using. So it's a sensor, weather, temperature. The last part of the sensor we have to configure is calibration factor. And for that, you will be using formula I mentioned earlier, and that is in the description of the video. I calculated it to be 1.5. This should be it for the sensor. If you want to add additional sensor, you can just copy what you have here. Paste it down below and change the values. So for example, Luca room mold indicator. Luca room humidity, Luca room temperature, and I will be leaving calibration factor here 1.5. Okay, let's save this. Let's go to configuration, server control, check configuration. We have to check if the spelling of the sensor is okay. And let's restart our server.
and our server is back online. Let's go to Overview, Climate, and here we will add those two sensors we just created. Let's save this. As you can see, we now have uh, two values, one value for each room. It's currently below 70%, but 70% is the value when you can expect mold to start growing. And you can now go and create automation that will notify you when this value is 70 or more percent. So you know that this room needs to be ventilated as soon as possible. Now let's go to configuration, automations. Let's create one called uh, loop. Room mold warning. Now create trigger from the state based on the entity uh, Luca room mold indicator, and we can put here value of, for example, 70. And if it's 70 for more than five minutes. Next thing what we can do is we can create, uh, we can call, we can call service notify bearded bot and send us a message. Luca room needs venting. And let's save this. So what we now created, we created automation based on the Luca room mold indicator. If it reaches value of 70 for longer than five minutes, send us notification that this room needs venting. Let's go back, let's go back, let's go to server controls, check configuration, and let's reload automations. Let's test it. Let me first open up my Telegram. As you can see, my open sky sensor is working great. And now let's go and trigger this automation. Developer tools, services, and let's trigger more warning, call service. And as you can see, I have now triggered it it will send you information that Luca room needs venting. Of course, if you have this in your bathroom and you also have some kind of relay on your uh, ventilation, you can use this to trigger ventilation to automatically turn on or off. As I have mentioned previously, my goal for this year is to improve my ventilation in the bathroom. I already have humidity sensor there. I will probably be using this sensor to trigger the ventilation automatically. Thank you once again for watching Home Assistant How To with Bearded Thinker. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any idea or suggestion for my next Home Assistant How To, please leave it down in the comment section. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified. And I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.